Okay, so apparently this episode is the What the Bible Says Women Ain't Allowed to Do episode. <laughs> okay. All right. So there are also verses in the Bible that say that women aren't allowed to prophesy, pro do, do the prophecy, okay. or spiritual gifts. Okay. Okay. okay that's not true. All right, we'll go. <laughs> All right. Well, we just mentioned the passages in 1 Corinthians 11 and 1 Corinthians 14 that speak of women being encouraged to prophesy. Okay. Okay. And um, in, in actually in Acts 21 verse 9, Philip has four daughters who are prophets. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're told they're prophets. In Acts chapter 2, and I think this is probably one of the more um, significant passages, if you were, about this. So in Acts chapter 2, verse 17, it says, I will pour out my spirit. So, oh, let me back up, excuse me. It will be in the last days, says God, that I will pour out my spirit on all people. Then your sons and your daughters will prophesy. And so right here on in, in, in this place, sons and daughter prophesy. One more verse down, uh, the spirit will be poured out on my servants in those days, both men and women, and they will prophesy. Mm -hmm. And so now there's, there's absolutely no place in scripture that says that women cannot operate in the spiritual gifts, cannot prophesy. It's in fact the opposite because in the Acts 2 passage I'm reading is the it's a, this is the day of Pentecost when the Holy Spirit is poured out on the early church. So those in the upper room, they begin prophesying. And it's men and women gathered together. And they begin prophesying. And they begin speaking for God. And so, and then Peter is quoting from this passage, which is a, a passage in Joel uh, chapter 2, verse 28, when he says, the Spirit will be poured out on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. You know, the Spirit will be poured out uh, on those days, uh, on my servants in those days, both men and women. And so this is, I think, one of the great things about the error that we live in is the fact that we're living in the the era where the Holy Spirit has been poured out and really a lot of the, um, the I'll say the gender lines or roles that were prior began to be taken down during this era of the Holy Spirit, if you were. Okay. Um, and because now where we're moving toward is the idea of new creation. And this kind of alludes back to the fact of when you know when when Adam and Eve were in the garden together before the fall, mm -hmm. they were they were not only both made in the image of God, but they both had value in that was intrinsic to themselves, and you didn't have all of these quote unquote defined roles. Okay, as as much as we've that that seems to have produced um, that patriarchy seems to have produced. Okay, and so. I think that we're in a in a season and a time where we don't have to live under those patriarchal restrictions and laws because we're not we're not going backwards. We're moving toward new creation, which resembles the original creation. Okay. Yeah, man. Okay. What about evangelism? Can, can women evangelize? Yeah. Yeah. I, absolutely. Actually, um, one of the a couple of these were. Um, Google lists. Okay. Where I went to Google and I said, <laughs> oh, Lord. said yeah. uh, you know, what can't women do in the Bible or whatever? Right. And, and so spiritual gifts and prophecy and <laughs> and evangelism were, were in the list. So All right. I thought I'd, you know, just see see what I thought about it. See what the hell. <laughs> okay. This is why you can't trust the internet yeah. on everything. Um no, actually, um, if you remember back in our uh, in the Easter episodes that we did, mm -hmm. the fact that you know who were the very first people at the tomb, mm -hmm. it was women. Yeah, but no one believed, them. right? Does it matter about belief? Evangelism is not tied to does people believe you and evangelize, right? They they went and then they were actually the very first ones to say, "Hey, Jesus is risen." So mm -hmm. so the very so actually women. We're the first evangelist. 
who were uneducated. Who were, yeah, they were. All right. <laughs> I know you don't like the fact that they were uneducated. No. I don't like it. I don't like it either. But that was the reality of the days and time they lived. Mm -hmm. So I think women can do everything. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs>